What is up everyone, TechFetch here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my $500 PC. This rig will be suited mostly for gaming, but also a fair amount of content creation. So, I chose a CPU which would have more cores and extra horsepower than, than a dual core platform. So on that note, let's begin with the CPU. This would have been a no-brainer, the Intel Pentium G3258, if one was looking solely for gaming. However, I wanted to make a rig which you could do a fair amount of rendering and video creation, so I went with the AMD A8-7600, an APU with 4 cores and 3.1GHz, which will pair up with a GPU choice nicely later on. Next we come to our motherboard choice. I went with the MSI A68M E33, a micro ATX motherboard. This is a solid, cheap motherboard with all the features our components will need, including the FM2 Plus socket for our Kaveri processor. It also offers some good aesthetics to match our black RAM. Now we come on to our RAM. I decided to go with a 2x4GB kit from Kingston's HyperX Fury line. This provides sufficient memory for most AAA and 1080p titles. Also, it gives the user light rendering as an option. Our GPU is next. This choice was harder. I managed to narrow it down between the GTX 750 Ti and the R7 360. These two lightweight GPUs are pretty much on the same price point, so it's up to the builder. But in this case, I went with the R7 360 to take advantage of AMD's dual graphics technology. If you'd gone with the G3258, then the GTX 750 Ti would have been more ideal. As the heart of the system, we need a power supply. This was easy and we went with the CX430 to offer continuous power and double the power our system in total needs. For storage, we went with the reliable 1TB Western Digital Blue hard drive, clocked in at 7200 RPM. Finally, as a home to all our components, we wanted a good looking, yet rich in features and cheap case. We went with the Aerocool Aero 500 as an aesthetically pleasing chassis. So that concludes this video. The total came to exactly $487, and should be a strong system for both gaming and a little bit of rendering. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.